A popular corn maze is about to challenge your sense of direction. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live with the secret for a success of a popular corn maze. And Vic, so how does Alida make it work? Well, they make it work with the help of a lot of volunteers. And actually, you and I and everyone who's watching can get in on that, too. I'm here with a, a mother and son duo here. We've got Sharon and Michael Hansen, volunteers uh, here at the, fest, at the corn maze. Now, Sharon, you started out as a volunteer. This year, you're in charge of all the volunteers. How many people does it take to make this annual event a huge success? From start to finish, we need well over 500 volunteers to make the corn maze possible. And when you say start to finish, there's the prep time ahead of time, but then there's also every weekend this fall, starting this weekend through October 27th. Now, as we look at the efforts of the volunteers and what pays off for them, uh, with some folks going through the maze last year, let me talk to Michael for a minute. You actually uh, have uh, been called on to go out and rescue a few folks every once in a while. What's the secret of not getting lost? Uh, just use the map. Follow the path on the map and stay on the path in the corn. Don't try to cut through the corn because that's going to get you lost even more. So uh, don't make a little effort to cheat. Cheating yeah. never wins, right? What's the best part about being a volunteer? Uh, just It feels good about helping other people. It's just, I don't know exactly how to describe it. It's just a feeling you get when you know you're helping someone else who really needs the help. And you're talking about not only the folks who might get lost in the maze, but also the amazing children who are helped by Elida. Now, Sharon, how can we be part of the volunteer team for this? And there's a little perk in it for us, isn't there? There is. It's very easy to volunteer. You can go to our website. It's fieldsoffun.org. Okay. And you can actually sign up for the volunteer shift that you choose. It's a three-hour shift, and at the end of the three hours, you receive two free tickets to come back with a friend and enjoy the maze at your leisure. That's a great incentive. It's not the only reason to do it. Being able to help people have a great time. 20,000 people come out to this every year. So you know it's a great opportunity to meet your neighbors and have some fun as well. Don't forget, we are helping you out with two family four packs of giveaway tickets on our early bird gets the win. Go to our Facebook page, click on the Inside News 13 tab, and enter for your chance to win so you can get one of the two four packs of tickets that we're giving away this morning. Coming up in our next half hour, a couple of other new things this year, plus a few favorites that'll be back. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.